hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is belinda and i go by name of belinda chosen welcome back to my channel guys welcome back family how you guys been it's been a minute hope you, hope you guys have been good um so today i have a quick word for you guys see i was just on my way out to get some food okay and um god just god's give me a word i don't have an agenda i don't have anything written down so this is literally god just speaking to me right now and I just felt I needed to just get this word out there. And I know I haven't posted it in a, in a while. That's just because I don't want to just sit here and just tell you anything and just give you words that God hasn't given me. I literally wait for God to put the words on my lips and then I speak. And today he's given me a word. And what God is saying today is the answer is coming. A change is coming. An answer is coming and a change is coming. A lot of the times when we pray for something and we're asking God to give us an answer, most times we don't get the answer we're praying for or we feel like God is silent. The truth of the matter is God is not silent. God is actually working behind the scenes. Um, I feel like sometimes when God give us certain things, we try to run ahead of God. So God purposely, you know, don't answer us in a season because he's working behind the scenes. He's working things on your behalf. If God had revealed, revealed that thing to you um, before it's time or giving you that word before it's time, um, you probably would have tried to run ahead of God. So you've been praying and all of you are saying like, how do I know God is speaking? How do I, how do I hear from God? How do I know that God is speaking to me? Just I've, I've learned to pray to God and ask God, Lord, speak to me in a language that I can understand. Because you know me better than, better than I know myself. You know me from the inside out. You know me better than, you know me like a book. You created me, you formed me. So speak to me in the language you know that I understand, the way that you know will get my attention. And I don't know what you are praying for personally and what answers you've been waiting for God to answer, or what prayers you've been waiting for God to answer, what the answers are. But I want to tell you today that God is bringing you an answer. He's bringing you answers to those unanswered prayers. And your and your prayers were, were never in vain. Your prayers were not, it's not like God didn't hear your prayers. God heard every single one of your prayers and God was working out for your good. And now an answer has come. A change has come. For me personally, I, I believe when I feel like I'm in the unknown, a change to me can be very, very scary. And when I feel a change come in and I feel like God is doing something in my life, my first instinct is to run as fast as I can because I'm I'm afraid of the unknown. I'm I'm afraid of the unknown, but that's not faith. You know, faith is a substance of things hoped for, as the Bible says, um, the evidence of things not yet seen. Even lately in my life, I just feel like I've been I've been hearing this thing in my in my heart, run, run. But I know it's not the voice of God. I definitely know it's not God. And I, I really truly believe that it's it's the the enemy's putting thoughts and planting thoughts in my mind, telling me to run to miss that thing that God has in store for me. Like I, I spoke um, last time in the prophetic word that I gave in my last video that, you know, literally the answer is at the door. The door is about to open. And a lot of the, a lot of times we run before we get our breakthrough. We give up before we see that miracle happen. We give up at the edge of our breakthrough. But I don't want you to give up because just as God said last time, the thing that you are waiting for is at your door. It's knocking on your door. God is saying a change is coming, a good change, uh, a great change, uh, a positive change. And God has great plans for all of us, has great, great plans for all his children. And a change is coming. An answer is coming. That is something to rejoice about. An answer is coming. That thing you've been praying God, praying to God for, that thing you've been persistent saying, God, what should I do? What should I do? What should I do? what should I do? Good news. An answer is coming. An answer is here. So keep praying, keep seeking. Um, the Bible says in Daniel, I live in the book of Daniels. I don't remember the exact scripture. Like I said, I don't have any notes down. I'm just going as the spirit is leading me right now. Uh, when it says that Daniel set his heart to pray and before um, Daniel prayed, an answer was already sent, but there was a, there was 
a, a spirit at work, you know. And one thing God has been speaking to me um, as well as showing me in dreams is that spirit of the lay that's at work. There's a spirit of the lay that's at work in the life of believers. There's a spirit of the lay that is fighting against the things that God wants to do. There's a spirit of the lay that is trying to come against the thing that God has for you. And at the end of the day, that spirit is not going to prevail or prosper because whatever God says goes. Um, whatever God says is going to come to pass. So I want you guys to take the time just to pray against that spirit of delay because the spirit of delay at work, even in my life, there's things that I've been praying for. And I know that God has told me that he's going to do it at a, at a point in time. And that spirit of delay has been fighting me. I've been constantly dreaming about delays. And I'm just like, God, I am tired of praying about the same old things. I'm tired of, you know, coming against the spirit and rebuking the spirit. I'm just tired. I'm tired. But don't be wary and waiting and just pray against that spirit of delay. That spirit of delay has no power over you. That spirit of delay cannot stand, um, cannot stand in the way of what God has for you. Whatever it is that God has for you, I come against that spirit of delay. I bind that spirit of delay. Uh, the Bible says what we bind on earth is bind in heaven. What we loose on earth is loose in heaven. So I come against that spirit of delay that's at work in the life of believers. In the life, in my own life, I come against that spirit. Say it with me. I will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. I will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. All God's promises are a yes and amen, Christ Jesus. Say with me, the spirit of delay has no power over me. Today is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. The answer has come. Now is the time. My season has come. A change is coming, a great change, a change of breakthrough, a change of turnaround, and just speed in acceleration the things that God has prepared for us, the things that God has spoken over us. So do not be afraid of any demonic spirit because God has given us the power to prevail. God has given us his spirit. So yes, a change is coming, a great change, a good change, a positive change is coming according to the will of God, according to God's purpose in your life. A change is coming and an answer is here. Open up your spiritual ears to hear it. Open up the eyes of your heart to receive it. Let your heart not be hardened. Listen to what God is saying in this time and receive it by faith in Jesus' name. A change is coming, a change is coming and the answer is here. That is good news. So that's the word that I have for you guys today. I received that for myself personally. Thank God for the change. Even though just moments ago this morning, I was scared. I wanted to run away as far as I could because like I said, the unknown can be scary, but I've just, you know, in this time, just decided I'm going to trust God. I'm going to be obedient and be still and let God do what he's doing. Even though I may not know exactly what that change is, whether I know what it is, or what I don't know, or maybe I don't know what it is, just to trust God's hand and that uh, a change is not always scary. It's, it's it's a it's a good thing. It's a good thing because seasons comes and seasons go. Just like right now, we just step into the spring. So it's a new season. It's a it's a it's a good change, right? And so we're gonna start seeing the, the flowers um growing again and the trees and the leaves coming alive again. So this is a season of growth, this is a season of um you know, the seed that God has planted to spring forth and bring um, bring forth fruits. And I've, I really believe that this is a season where it's, it's a season of harvest. The fruit is ripe. It's time to eat of it. And I'm so excited for you and I'm excited for myself. So whatever it is, don't run away from it. Trust God, be still and let God be God and do what God does best. Let God be God and just trust in him. But I hope you guys enjoy this word and I hope you take this word to God. Pray about this word. Ask God for if you're going through a change or a tra transition. Ask God for strength. Uh, if you're waiting for an answer, whatever that answer may be, just be patient because the answer is here and God will cause you to hear and you will be confident that it's from God. But I love you guys. This is the word for today. I love you guys. And yeah, I hope I see you guys in my next video. Bye. I thank God for the best